So yo, Collective Box family, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I know it's been a couple of weekends now, we didn't drop a video, we've been busy, and obviously, back in London now, getting stuff done. Been busy with the RT1, filming new videos, which are coming soon. But today, I'm here to teach you how to do a 180. And what a coincidence, we've got a skate park right there. And that's fine doing that because this trick you can do anywhere. This is another beginner trick that I've wanted to teach you guys for a while now and basically how to do it. It's like the last video was how to do a bunny hop. This time it's how to do a bunny hop 180 and also make that trick and take it to the next level. So wherever you want to go with the 180, I'm about to show you. Stay tuned. So right then, let's bring it right back to the beginning. Clearly you can see what the 180 is, you know what the 180 is, you know what it looks like. Now, as you know how these how-to videos work, I go through these step by step and how I feel for you is best to learn this trick. Now, obviously step number one, you gotta learn this trick on the floor. Now, from watching the last video, how to bunny up, if you haven't watched that, the link is in the description and it's also on the end of this video right there. You can, they can press it, yeah? That video is there, so once you've learned how to bunny up, this should be the same level of trick, this should be not too difficult and also shouldn't take you too long either so pay attention and you'll see results now obviously you've got your bunny up you're good so this is step one now so this is the same as the bunny up in a place where your foot forward whichever you prefer to be in now by doing this there's there's no really half way to doing it or really doing a different way in doing this trick other than trying it so first things first just make sure Make sure you feel good on your RT1. Did you get one online or no? Yeah, just make sure you feel good. Make sure you're prepared to do the bunny up because this essentially is a bunny up. But obviously you're doing a 180 with it as well. This is this is the first next level of taking this trick this trick further. So step one, trying the 180. And you can do that by doing you can do 90, you can do you can do little hops, you can just get used to spinning your bike around like with the bunny up. All you're doing is spinning, you know? And it's just, it's just that movement of like feeling your body on the bike, pedals there, feet there, feet are tight, feet are locked in, and it's all in this here. I feel like I should have like a, you know, like a hoop to have like a fucking... <laughs> but it's all in this core right here and that's what you're turning. You're turning this part of your body and pulling your bars, pulling your hands and moving in that same exact direction. I'll show you again. Oh. Oh no, so it doesn't even matter if you don't land the full 180 and if you don't land backwards and you just land sideways, it doesn't matter, it's the same thing because you're still trying to do that same trick, which is the 180. I'll try again. So this time I want to try a little bit harder, you ready? Oh. Did you see that? You see that or no? So eventually, obviously I can do the trick already, so it does feel a little bit easier for me. It's almost harder for me to try not to do the trick. But what I'm saying is, this is step one. Step one is literally getting used to the spin, getting used to the rotation, and obviously turning your bike a full 180 degrees. This is the 180. Step number two. So now you are getting the spin, and more than likely, you're probably gonna be running into this problem. So now this is where step number two comes into play. Obviously you're rolling backwards, you need to be level on your feet, you need to be lighter on your feet and also be prepared to pedal backwards. Same way as you're going to go forwards on your bike, you're going to be going backwards, so be prepared to be doing this. When you're going backwards, you need that to engage. Whether it's a C1, a C100 or an RT1 bike that you are riding, this trick is still possible on any of those bikes. Now listen, pay attention. This is important. Pedaling backwards, it's necessary to make sure that you're pedaling backwards with the bike as well because if, you're, if your bike's going backwards and you're just putting pressure on this, it makes your bars turn. The easiest way that I've found when going backwards on a fakie or on a 180 or whatever it is that makes me go backwards in a trick is to look at my front wheel as I'm doing it. So right now, I am pedaling backwards with the bike and following the front wheel. Well, that's step number two done, you know. Okay, so now we're on step three. 
This is the next step after learning the faking, going backwards in your lights on your pedals, you're going backwards with the bike and you're allowing the bike to move back easily. As I said, whatever bike you're on, whether it be a collective C1, RT1 or a C100, which we have a C100 right there. <gasps> oh no no no, it's available soon bro, don't show me, it's available soon. Basically this is the next step, so when you're pedaling backwards and it's feeling natural now, you're going to run into this problem. And you're not gonna, you're probably not gonna know how to turn around as much, and you're probably not gonna know how to bring it around into the straight way that you need to go. So I'm gonna show you. Just like that, bro. Nah, that looks silky still. That looked silky. Right then, step, num step number three. Three. Three steps. I feel like this trick's quite easy. Step number three now. As you are coming backwards on the bike, you've figured out the faking, you can feel it going backwards, the lights on the pedals, all of that stuff. All the previous steps, I'm not going to go over them again and confuse you too much, even though I probably already have. Just pay attention. You're going backwards now, and whatever foot you ride forward, ideally you want to be faking as far back until that foot becomes forwards again. Now, I'm left foot forward, and as I'm faking, it'll be around about here, so just past halfway, and I'll begin to turn the bars and bring it around. Just like this. Same thing if you're right foot forward, you do the same thing. Just before the crank comes up to your comfortable position, the 50-50 position, what I explained last time in the last how-to video. Did you see it or nah? Same thing as I was explaining before. Right foot forward, left foot forward, whichever one comes up, as soon as it's about to pop, just be like, Bring that baby around. I feel like showing him some 180s now. Show him some 180s. Let's go. Right then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you pay attention to everything that I said in this video. Now even though it was three steps and it might seem like it was a short video or it was a short explanation in this trick, that's all it takes bro, just pay attention to what I said, trust me. RT1 aftermarket parts are available for pre-order right now at collectorbikes.com. C1 bikes will be back online very, very soon. C100, dropping soon. Yeah, yes, brother. Yeah. You got, you're gonna learn how to 180 as well? Bro. First bro, try. Tell them to see when I'm just coming soon. Let them know when I'm coming soon, bro. Also, wanted to say to you guys if you want to learn how to wheelie, they need to comment below, innit? Oh, yeah, definitely. If you want to start seeing how to videos from the guy that runs these streets, comment below right now, smash the thumbs up, and we will see you next weekend for a new video. Thank you. Jake? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Jake said he can do a 180. Yeah, 30, 30. Is it? Wait, you can put the He was just watching, he was watching, he was watching. Yeah, yeah, he just taught me. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It isn't that hard, so you fam. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. As I said, if you want to see results, just, just pay attention, bro. Jake, no. do, do the honors, bro. And if you want to learn how to really make sure you comment below. And I'll see you next yeah. time.